this is a horrible angle guys but hi <laughs> i don't even know how to start this i've been gone for so long so if you're new here welcome back to my channel sorry it's been so long since i've uploaded i kind of left my last video um and i said i was going to do a part two because that memory was full on that phone i ended up getting a new phone and um my part two oh my hand has a rash anyways my part two went to the cloud and there, I just can't download it. It just takes like ages to try to download it. So um, if you guys are new here, my name is Danielle and I don't know what my content is. <laughs> um, I started recording videos before like as story times and then I got pregnant. So then I was doing videos about my pregnancy and I've gotten a lot of views on some of those pregnancy videos, but yeah. So sorry if you've commented and I've been MIA. I work full time and I don't I just don't have any excuses to be honest I just have been slacking and not been uploading but let me catch you guys up on my life and where I've been and what's been going on um I want to say I left off on that last video when I said I was going to upload a part two um I had a miscarriage so um trigger warning if you are triggered by talking about that kind of thing um I'm sorry, but I'm going to just go over my experience with that and then kind of tell you um, where we're at today. So um, I think I left off um, that I went to the doctor and I'm sorry if this is like continuing what happened or if I've already said this. Okay. So um, I had a missed miscarriage back in on August 27th, 2020. Um, I went to the doctor on September 4th, 2020. And the doctor by that point had told me that the baby no longer had a heartbeat. Um, so they provided me medication in order to pass the pregnancy since my body wasn't doing it naturally. Um, so I took the medication and it was kind of like a shitty situation because I just started a brand new job. So I went on my lunch break and then had to come back to work. Um, luckily nothing happened while I was at work. Um, but as soon as I went to go pick up my daughter, um, from her grandma's house and I got in my car to go to the pharmacy which I should have went to the pharmacy to begin with um, because they prescribed me I think pain medication I don't remember um, while I was sitting in the car I just all of a sudden feel like stuff coming out and it was just like non-stop it felt like I was peeing on myself there was no way to stop it and it was just pouring out I ended up going through my clothes um, I got home and I used the restroom and it's just pouring out just like something like I've never seen before just I was gonna say clear liquid it was not clear it was blood just but like liquid it looked like water like the consistency of it just it was so bad and then I hopped in the shower you know usually when you have like your period or something when you take a shower you don't really bleed in the shower it usually stops um, no this was just pouring down my legs so it was kind of like it was not a good feeling like it's not something that I ever wanted want to experience ever again well obviously but it was just at that point when I was going through that I was crying um I'm like why God like why me and I'm like I never want to be pregnant ever again like I never even want to put myself in this position to where this could happen to me ever again I was just it was not it was very traumatizing to say the least um they say if you soak through a certain amount of pads in an hour then to you know call call them because you may be hemorrhaging um I don't think I was I was bleeding that bad but it was just a constant flow that was coming out um and I had the worst stomach cramps like it just it kind of felt like menstrual cramps but worse um and it was just like constant constant and just feeling all of that come out of you it was just very traumatizing um, to say the least so later on that night I ended up going through my clothes I think once or twice and then the next day I had to take another part of the medication so usually you don't pass all of that stuff until the second part of the medication they say it's like rare I think like three percent of women actually pass it with the first part of the medic medication that I can remember the percentage but it's like a lower percent usually you do need the second part um so the second day I took the medication I had stomach pains but I wasn't bleeding it's like all of my bleeding had already stopped by that point um because I had already passed and I think it was because the pregnancy had already ended 
that's that's my thought in my head is that the pregnancy had already ended and that's why I passed it so easily um, with the first medication not really needing the second one too um, but you still have to take the second medication because um, just just to make sure that everything is cleared out um, so then after that I did have to go back to the doctor um, for a checkup they check your I guess your cervix to make sure that everything was passed and I believe that was like one week later and then at that appointment, I did ask the doctor, when can we start trying again? Because that pregnancy, like it was a planned pregnancy. And where I got the medication from was like a planned parenthood type. So, I mean, they do with like abortion or they deal with abortions and, you know, things like that. So I did let them know, I mean, to each their own. But to me, I wasn't there because I didn't want the pregnancy. I was there because the baby stopped growing and I wanted the medication um, because at the hospital, they were just kind of like, oh, just wait a few weeks. And if your body passes it, your body passes it. If not, then come back. And to me, that was like really torturous to know that my baby at that point had already stopped growing. Um, they it, at, at the hospital, the baby still had a very um, slow heart heartbeat or heart rate but one week later like I said the baby didn't have a heartbeat anymore so um, I did let them know that I was you know it was a planned pregnancy and I let them know my circumstances of you know me and my husband do want um, more kids and will this affect you know I got some more information if it would affect you know in the future and things like that um, so they let me know just give it like one full month of a regular cycle and then after that we can start trying again and so that leads us to where we are kind of now um, or surprise I'm pregnant <laughs> so we did we waited that one month so in October we didn't try I had my normal menstrual um, cycle I think in a couple of weeks um, later in the month of September and then I had a regular normal one um, at the end of October again and then we tried in the month of November which was the first month that we tried and we did um, conceive in November so I am now pregnant I am actually almost 20 weeks pregnant I'm 19 weeks pregnant six days so literally just on the cusp of 20 days um, my due date estimated due date is August 7th I believe um, so we are expecting another girl um, in Leo seasons so I'm gonna have a little Libra which is my first daughter and now a Leo um, so we are really excited it was very 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 nerve-wracking um, this time getting pregnant but I feel like everything happens for a reason and God's timing is everything because like I said, I did start a new job and I was pretty stressed finding out that the county <laughs> where I work, um, they don't do paid maternity leave. So it, it's just... I don't want to say this and like sound like very like insensitive or like oh like I'm glad like no I wanted I wanted the pregnancy when I was pregnant regardless if I was stressed or not um and I don't know if I went over this or not but I had fallen down the stairs in the back of my house and I think that that's what may have caused the baby to stop growing um or detach and reattach because I did have a blood clot I don't know if I explained all that to you in the last video or not but um, I, I wanted that pregnancy, you know, and I'm so glad that I was able to conceive so quickly after. Um, and so now with my new due date, it actually puts me to the point where I will get maternity leave or paid maternity leave. So it's just like one less stress or worry. So I just feel like God's timing is everything. So maybe he saw, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't, I feel like everything is working out the way that it's supposed to work out and in the moment I was very like woe is me and you know like why am I going through this in the moment I was like I never want to get pregnant again I never want to experience this again um but I I have to accept that everything happens for a reason and I I genuinely feel that way of course when you're going through it you don't want to hear that like don't i am not telling you to go tell somebody oh it's okay everything happens for a reason do not tell people that um when they're going through that just say i'm here for you and 
you know, if you ever want to talk about it, then, you know, I'm here to listen. Don't ever be like, oh, well, like God has a plan. It happens for a reason. I'm saying that coming from the other side of my experience that now I can see the bigger picture. Um, so I do have a couple of ultrasounds here that I'll show you guys. I don't think I have them all. They're just kind of random in my car. I may have more in my purse. I don't know. So, okay, <laughs> it is recording. So I don't know, I thought I had the first one, but I may not have the first one. I may only have my 13 week and my 20 week. So I just went for my anatomy scan. So this one is, I was 13 weeks, um, three days here, but the baby was actually measuring 13 weeks, five days. And when I went for my anatomy scan, the same thing, um, I'm technically 13 or 19 weeks, three days when I went for the anatomy scan, but the baby was measuring 13 weeks, five days. He's so cute. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the head side. It's the side profile body and a leg up here. I believe that's the leg. Here's another one that you can see side profile. It's kind of hard to see with the glare, but um, those are a couple of the ultrasounds that I had. Like I said, this time finding out that I was pregnant, it was very, very worrisome. I was scared with every little thing, uh, especially I did spot a little bit when I was around, I want to say six, maybe seven weeks pregnant. Um, and the doctor did put me on pelvic rest because I did notice that it was after um, me and my husband had our little time. So I did notice spotting and I was freaking out and it wasn't like spotting, spotting. It was, it started the same way that it did when I had my miscarriage, just like a little bit of like discoloration in my discharge. Um, so that was worrisome, but the doctor put me on pelvic rest and then I went to my appointment and everything was okay. The baby had a heartbeat and so far so good. Um, I, I have been having a lot of worries, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. And I felt like that was going to have like an adverse effect on my baby, but thank God everything is, she's growing how she's supposed to be growing. So my insurance, um, now I'm just going to go on about my pregnancy and my experience so far. So this pregnancy has been different than my first one. My first one, I had a lot of morning sickness, like all day sickness. I even got taken out of work because I was always sick. Um, this pregnancy, I haven't um, been having that type of morning sickness or anything like that. Um, I was getting nauseous in the nighttime, but I think that was in conjun conjunction with taking my prenatal because my prenatal was making me sick. Um, but I've then or since switched to gummy prenatals and I don't feel that nausea anymore. I'm already in my second trimester too. So that may be part of it. Um, I really thought in my head that I was going to have a boy just because this pregnancy has been so much easier than my first one. So I, in my head, I was like, oh, I'm having a boy. Um, so when they said it was a girl and they've already told me three times that it's a girl, I'm like, what the hell? Like, I really, really, really was like certain that it was going to be a boy. Um, I honestly wanted another little girl because I want my daughter to have a sister. I have a bunch of sisters. Um, but then in my head, I started thinking that it was a boy. So I started preparing myself like, oh, we're a little boy and a little girl. How cute. And then it's a girl. And I'm like, then I started feeling guilty. I was like, oh my gosh, my daughter's not going to be the only princess, but I'm excited. I'm excited to dress them the same and everything like that. Um, I haven't really been having bad, like any symptoms that are any, like anything crazy. So excess discharge, that's like normal um, headaches. I was experiencing headaches this time around. I don't remember if I got them with my daughter or not. Um, craving. Um, I haven't been having like, um, aversion, food aversions. I've been hungry. That's why I really thought I was having a boy. Cause I've been like hungry and craving things. I crave a different type of sweet every week. It was like chocolate covered strawberries then caramel apples, then like spicy chili candies, then cookies. Like my cravings are just like every week it's something different and it's something sweet. <sighs> um, I can't think of anything else, but I just wanted to get on here and give you guys an update. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to record a little bit more. I'm gonna end this video here so I can upload it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.